Yeah, he seems really nice. He's not gonna hurt anyone. He's like a teddy bear. Oh! What? <laughs> Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching You Season 2, Episode 2. Now, in the last episode, a lot's changed. Joe moved to LA because he's, he's running from Candace, right? Now, I have my own theory on that. I still think she's dead. Why do I think she's still dead? Why doesn't it make sense, okay? Here's the thing. So, I know she did show up in the finale of season one, episode 10. That was the only time we didn't see her in a flashback, right? But then every other time after that, it was a flashback. Now, I get he's in LA, so he has to refer back to when he was still in New York. It doesn't seem logical that she would see a book of wherever Candace is, she would see a book of a girl named Guinevere Beck and be like, oh, this was Joe. Or you could look at it and guess it was Joe. That, that doesn't sound logical. Any person, any rational person would be like, no, Joe needs to go to jail. He needs to go to prison, okay? They would turn him in, okay? Candace doesn't want to do that. She wants to make him suffer and show him who really is, okay? That's great and all, but no, he should be in prison. Like, mm, it just sounds like something Joe would like have in his head though. And plus, we know Joe does not tell the full truth. He picks and chooses what he tells us, okay? Like, like meeting love, right? We found out at the end of the episode that he didn't meet love organically in the store. He just, he saw who she was when he was walking through the movie set. He's like, oh, I like her. So he set up his entire life in LA around her. Like his apartment building, he got his apartment exactly where it is on the exact floor where it is so he could spy on her with a telescope. He got his job at the same place she's, she works out. Now she's in a different department, but it's still the same building, which is pretty, pretty crazy. Like, cause like he didn't do that for Beck. Like he just met Beck organically in the bookstore, you know? Unless, unless he did the same thing with Beck and they just didn't show us that, or they showed us and I just don't remember, so. But I'm pretty sure that Joe didn't do that for Beck. But then also, at the end of the episode, Joe walked into his storage unit and he brought the book casing with him. Okay, and then there's someone in it. We don't know who this guy is. We Then there's a guy named Jasper looking for the dude in the cage. This dude in the cage's name is Will. And that's Joe's new alias, Will. Uh, I don't really know why he would choose Will as an alias when he just kidnapped a dude named Will. So, this is gonna get spicy. But yeah, and then technically he's out running, he's trying to run away from Candace as well. She's trying to hunt him down, but I, th I think that's in his head. It seems like such a Joe thing that would happen, just Candace being in his head. I don't know, maybe I'll be proven wrong, maybe she is alive. I'll be shocked if she's alive. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon as well. Early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. And I've been the fool more than once. If I'm honest, I saw red flags and explain them away. Mm-hmm. Which is why I have to see with clear eyes now. You know. Find those flags before we've gone too far. <laughs> I like that idea, but he's gonna ignore them anyway. <laughs> really hate all the attention. All right, have a good one. Can I get one? And then. Wait, I think that was an act. Wait, who was that guy? I think that was like an actual dude who's like actually famous. I think. With a man with the means to bring a new, unlocatable me into existence, at least according to his carefully worded ad on Craigslist. Everything all of this hat corn doing to our epic. Is that Will? Getting out to escape Candace was imperative, but so too was the option to return and actually deal with her when I was ready. Maybe she was alive. Buying what this guy had to offer wasn't enough, and I didn't have 10 years to methodically sculpt a new identity. Oh, yep. I realized I needed to be him. Mm-hmm. So that's the dude. Okay, that's the dude in his cage. Well, seems okay for a guy who's been in a box for a week. <laughs> One you felt you needed as a child for protection. I, I know everyone in this town likes to talk about their feelings. Oh, he's already dissected Joe pretty well. <laughs> Tell me about Jasper. Able to put yourself on the outside. That must be so empowering. Who is Jasper? I need light. I need my meds. This isn't gonna be good for you. If you want me to consider your need, just tell me what this guy wants. Met him on what a lay person might term the dark web, all right? Not even a client. I looked into the guy, didn't like, turned down the gig. So you've never even met? <laughs> no. He doesn't know what I look like, so mm. he won't know that. Okay, hold, hold on, hold on. You, you charge a fee in advance of meeting. You charge him and his money back. Yep. That is probably correct. You have to pay him back. <laughs> How much money did you charge him? but I spent it. Mm. And How much do you owe? 
don't be like two thousand. Okay. Three thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> mm. Oh, he's together. gonna sell. He's gonna sell all this shit. Fix all these books. He can cobble together a little something worth three grand. Wow. Best I can do. Deal. Fortunately, oh, an wow. LA bookseller is practically an oxymoron. Poor guy. He doesn't know it's fake. Are you okay? You look a little. Mm. She likes him. Yeah, I just wanted to stop thinking about it and just do it. Pretty straightforward. Might be too much for Joe. See now, Joe. Now Joe's gonna. He's not gonna do his due diligence now. <laughs> what 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 could love do to like really hurt him? Like, what's the worst? Like, what are they gonna hit us with? Like, they can't just have her cheat on him. They've already done that with Beck and Candace. They can't do that again. There has to be like something wrong. Oh, he's just saying Beck. Still in love with Beck. Lunch today. My friends. They're very LA, but they're also great and they're important to me. Oh, they're gonna hate Joe. And now you want me to meet your friends? Since no, I'd love some shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you think this was a real bookstore? Bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's Jasper, huh? He said that you had something that you wanted to give back. I mean, he seems nice. Mr. Uh, will be. <laughs> yeah, he seems really nice. Here, did she mention that I left word for you? He doesn't want to hurt anyone. He's not going to hurt anyone. He's like a teddy bear. I've been having trouble reaching you. I'm sorry, my phone's been ah. weird. You know, but, but here, your money. Uh, Shall be there. All 50 grand? Oh, fuck. But I'll need it today. Is that still all right? Oh, That's great. Will lied so hard, bro. Oh, hey, one other thing. Uh, sure, check this out. I want to show you something. What are you doing? Oh, 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 oh. It's okay. It's okay. Squeeze hard. Right the oh. knuckle. A little higher. Good. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Jasper doesn't fuck around. Oh, he just got his finger off? Wait, what? Wait, what? Drop her in there. There you go. Surgeon Dr. Dan. As long as you're there in the next 10, 12 hours, a good chance to reattach. Provided what? So. Give me a call and you have the rest of the money. I'm fucking killing this dude now. No, I'm fucking killing him. I don't care. You just cut my fucking finger off. Not all of it, like the table, like dog. This is bad. Easily yeah. Leave. Holy fuck. 50,000, Will. It's not three. Mm hmm. Can we talk about my hand? Oh, no. Oh no. I admit I thought his whole needing meds thing was Yeah, he needs meds. They found me and it's over and you exposed us to now that Fuck. Do you have any money anywhere? Think, Will, think. Will, listen to me. No one knows you're here. No one can take care of you. The guy you stole from murders me. Rufus. Okay. He owes me 50 large. He's okay. good. Just text him the code word. What's the code word? When I was eight, I broke my arm and they put a pin in and it's been transmitting. So don't you go to the hospital. They will mm. like a dog. You understand me? Oh, is that just like... I can and I will neutralize that chip for you. What was that code word? Yeah. Uh, apparently, okay. Rufus is someone who conveniently owes Will 50 large. Feels too easy. Hey. I was just calling to hear if you're really crying. <laughs> I like love. You do what you feel. You just mm -hmm. phone. I'm just sorry. I'm not gonna see you. Yes. This is how you handle rejection. You want me to not feel bad about blowing you off. What can I? Do they secretly want to sleep with you, own you, steal you away you. to Paris? No, <laughs> they're not Peach. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're like Peach. No. I know. I don't talk about. James much. I just really thought, you know, I met my soulmate. But no one excites me. You know, no one makes me miss them. It'd be very hard to find someone like James, you know? No, I think that maybe, maybe you're falling for him a tiny bit. That's so terrifying. <laughs> no. Aww, that's why we're here for you, beautiful. I take it all back. I love your friends. It'd be great if I had the faintest fucking clue what this Rufus guy looks like. That's what I say. What do you? How do you know who he is? Hold on. That's airport guy. Hendy. 
Hendy. Okay, Hendy. Comedian. Oh my fucking god! I know who he is! Oh my god! That, uh, yeah, that's total. Dude, he is a comedian in real life. Fuck, what's his name? Oh my god, I don't remember his name in real life. I think I think it's Chris, though. Chris. Chris O'Dealy, I think? I think. What happened to your hand? Oh, you're really not from here, ass, but I actually don't care. <laughs> Chris D'Elia? Oh, it's okay. Well, if you do, Dr. Daniel at St. Henry's Medical Center. Uh, if you go, tell him we're mm -hmm. friends and he'll hook you up. Okay, but Thank you. Thanks. Okay, that's a bro. I mean, what, I just gotta give him your name and, like, that's it? You don't, okay. Cool. That's easy. He seems pretty great. Hey, drool a little more. It's a good look on you. Bro, he just fucking helped me out. He just recommended me a doctor to fix my my hand. Like, what do you mean? What? It's a great first impression. I mean, but she probably thinks he's a dickhead because, like, they probably used to date or something, so. Hey, hold on, you're gonna point out Rufus? You're a big boy. Figure it out. <sighs> wow, that's fucking, that's real generous. Rufus? Oh, you found me. You're not Will. No, he, he told me to use the code word. I got your shit in my bag. Here you go. <clears throat> okay, if I count it. You shitting me? It's not like considered rude to count it, I guess. It's probably not 50k. What the fuck? Uh, bro. Those are pills. Pills. Same ones, man. Oh, faster acting. I mean, is that $50,000 worth of pills? The 50 grand. Would you sell for that blowjob? With off brand Canadian meds for a rather severe bipolar disorder. Explains. Okay, never mind. We can't sell them. They're just for a will, I guess. Will kept just enough of a grip to turn me into his task rabbit. Yep. Fucker, because I don't believe you. You should believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I could hand you to Jasper. Yeah, I'm handing this little Jasper. Fuck this. I don't care. Love, this is trial by fire for you. Wolf has nothing to do with this. Hey, I really think we need to talk. She's going to be tripping about his hand. Oh my God, what yeah. happened? You lied to me. Bad alibi. He's been telling me everything since we were born. Is Forty your brother? My twin brother. I was trying not to instantly complicate things by waiting to tell you. But you... You complicated things by lying. Why would you lie? So I could walk through fire for you. <laughs> so I could slay... This is, this is not a good time. This is not good timing. This is about your ex, isn't it? Yes. Mm. No. She knows by looking in your eyes, dog. I understand why this is hard for... It's also why I just say things now. You know, because there was things I was waiting to say to him. I think it's a mistake to do the bullshit thing that you're doing. No, it's not bullshit. Yes, it it's is. No. You don't... Mm -mm. Stop. You get... Stop. Please, please, please stop. You don't need to yell. Ever. <laughs> I lied to you. Why are you here? You've actually lost... Because you... Because you feel guilty, Joe. To do it right this time. As opposed to with me. What went wrong with me, Joe? You cheated on me with your therapist? Hey, Jasper. Yeah. Yes, it's Will. I am on my way. I am not Will Bettelheim. So you put him in a Hannibal Lecter thing. I see that. I assume you realize that you need psychiatric help? I'm not crazy. <laughs> well, if you couldn't get it out of him, right? Just mm, want my finger back. You sure now? Oh. oh my, oh, okay, okay. This is when you need a gun. And... Oh, he stabbed, he killed him. Yes, he killed him. Yes, he killed him. He got him. Oh, right. Ah, oh, yes. You, Joe had to do it. Joe had to. That is valid. That is perfectly valid. Joe's lucky there was a knife right there, dude. Trying to survive. He wanted to hurt me. Mm -hmm. hurt him. <laughs> I loved you more than I've ever. We hurt the one we love. You're not afraid love will hurt you. You're afraid you'll hurt her. Mm hmm Please stay. Please. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hendy was right. Dr. Daniel, one impressive microsurgeon. Oh, okay. You got it fixed. Knocking out an hour security cameras will cover up another. Joe, what are you what are you doing? I wonder if I understand love at all. You don't. Bro, he's about to cut this dude up like Dexter. He's about to fully turn into Dexter right here. Into Candace. 
That was, that was clean. Why are you shaking up the bowl when there's just the rat? Just oh, the blackberries in there. What? There was nothing else in there. Oh. Me grinding his entire body. Are you gonna go dump these in the ocean now? Nah. Just throw them away, I guess. Yeah, just throw them away. What I'm hearing, two adults. Both knowing the risks. I don't think she knew. <laughs> not with you. I try not to hurt you, you try not to hurt me. You know, what else is there? I'm just... Um, I'm a psycho and I'll kill you. <laughs> Relationships are scary. You don't get all that goodness and possibility with zero risk. You cannot hurt me. Thank you. One, friends. Okay, friend, friends can be good. Poof. Friends. <laughs> I don't want to sound corny, but I did this thing where I took a bunch of his stuff and I put it in a box and I go in the ocean. Mm. I really wanted to hold on to things. <laughs> Whatever you call us, it feels right. This is home for now. Like, fuck it, let me get a fake ID and get out of here and go follow my dreams. It's hard to imagine her with dreams. <laughs> let me give you the gift of honesty. You act nice. Because you're not. Mm. But I got my radar the hard way. Just stay the fuck away from me and my sister, okay? All right, see ya. Did you say Jasper came around? <laughs> hey, the man. Yeah. He went on his way. Things were different. I'd say I owe you fifty grand. <laughs> it's spent. Of course. At one point, I thought I saw you murder a guy. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I guess it's goodbye, Beck. I'm sorry. I really am. I still can't wait to tell our story to our kids. How we decided to walk before we walk. Well, he's gonna murder her. <laughs> nah, there's no way they'll do that twice. Uh, it's a new hiding spot, I guess. Proof. Oh my god. I'm worried. Bro, when he moves out, they're gonna be like, what the I'm fuck happened right here? Why'd you put a hole in the wall? All right, well, that was episode two. All right, so Joe just basically went on like a goose chase this entire episode, like, oh my gosh, finger chopped off of the tip of it. I see why the episode's called Just a Tip. I was wondering why, like, why it's called that, you know? I had a different idea why it would be called that, but no, it's just the tip of like his finger. I guess it's fine now, I guess it's fine. I guess it's no problem at all. Yeah, honestly, when Jasper, like, came up to- Okay, here's the thing, like, dude, Jasper seems so nice. <laughs> he seems so nice. <laughs> like, so, yeah, Joe felt like it was fine to say his name was Will and everything. You know, he wanted to give Jasper his money back, which he was only $47,000 short on that, but he didn't know that. So, all because he wanted to change his identity. I mean, it's not- Okay, so I guess Joe is his real name. Okay, Joe is his real name then. Okay. Or his real legal name. I don't know. He could have had a different name and legally changed it to Joe. I don't know. But to escape Candace, I guess if... Uh, I mean, shit. If, I guess if Candace was dead and this was all in his head, he wouldn't have gone... He wouldn't have bothered to, like, do this with Will or anything. So it's like, it is just in his head. But, like, he's it's so convincing in his head. He, he truly believes she's after him. So that's why he's doing it. And he just can't separate the two. I don't know, wouldn't be shocked, like, he saw Beck a lot in this episode, you know, well, it's for, like, a different reason, because, like, one, he's, he still loves her, too, he's guilty that he killed her and everything, so that's, I'm, so that's why she's showing up and stuff, but yeah, Joe, here's a, here's a, here's a tip, okay, this is a rookie tip, don't kill love, don't kill love, that's your tip, okay, don't kill her, now, okay, I know I mentioned earlier in the episode, like, what are they gonna do with love, because there has to be a storyline here, with her now i don't think they're gonna make her just cheat on him again because they've already done that with candace and beck i don't think they're, he's gonna kill love because they've already done that with with uh, beck and hinted at it with candace but i guess not i don't know we're still talking about that theory but you know they're not going to do it three times in a row there's no way there's no way so there's something else is going to happen i feel like Love it. Love is gonna do nothing wrong. Like she's not gonna cheat on him. She's not gonna do anything like that. But Joe's just gonna fuck it up by being super paranoid, by thinking 
by thinking like, oh, this is too good to be true or something. He's going to do too much investigating. I was probably going to catch him following her like Beck caught him in that one in season one. And it's going to go bad. I think that's why. I think that's it. He's going to assume, oh, oh, she's seeing this dude. She's cheating on me. You know, it's I think that's really like what that. It's kind of like all they can do unless they just throw like a wrench at us and like just come up with something completely random that like i would never see coming i feel like it's that i feel like they're just gonna throw like a literal wrench at us you know and this is gonna be something i never would have thought of so okay i hope it i hope it's that i hope it's that but anyways comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching